What's happening? Uh, how, t- how tough is it to hit the Buffalo? Yeah, I mean, the atmosphere is awesome. Um, I think as an away team, if you like that, that type of atmosphere where everybody's against you, you know it's going to be just you and your guys there um, for three hours trying to get a win. Uh, when you could get a win in that environment, I think it builds great character, it bonds the team together. Um, but it's going to be tough. You know, like we know how hard it is. You know, We went there last year, Monday night. Um, it was a back and forth, low scoring, tough game. Um, and I think that's the type of battles they want to have there. And the crowd was in it from beginning to end. Um, so we know it's going to be the same type of game uh, Sunday. They'll be ready to go. Um, I think this is only their second home game anyway, and it's you know division game coming. Um, they'll be in there breaking tables probably from 8 a.m. all the way throughout. So we'll get their best shot on the field and their fans. Coach always talks about well, players always talk about coaches on the field. Um, Frank Gore is out there with that young offense. How important is it for you one? <laughs> try to stop with the two, that he can see what you guys are doing and kind of kind of relate it to those guys. Yeah, I mean, you, you watch him on film, you kind of forget how long he's been in the league because of the way he's running. Um, but I think anytime you have an experienced guy like that, that he's played in a couple different offenses and he's kind of mastered all of them, um, I'm sure that's a, a very calming feeling, you know, especially for Josh Allen being his second year. But to have that guy behind you and helping out and then talking to guys probably in between the plays, um, and then, you know, you add on how tough it is. You see him you see him run up the middle and it looks totally clogged and then he's straight on to the safety and now you got to make a tough tackle against a guy like him. Um, so we know you got to kind of be ready for the downhill runs, but um, still has good speed. If, if he needs to bounce, it can really go anywhere. Um, and then I think the hardest thing with Frank Gore is always just tackling, him, getting him on the ground. Like Josh Rosen, that can buy a lot of time with his feet, or even take off. How does, what does that do to your coverage? Scheme? You mean Josh Allen? You trying to you trying to trip me up? Uh, I think the, the the tough thing is, like you said, you know, when he decides to run, he has good size and he can really run with the ball stiff arm. It's like a running back, but at any moment he can pull up, and I don't care if he's running, you know, full speed. His arm strength, he can throw the ball 60, 70 yards in the air. Um, so it, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and you see it. You've seen them in the first three games. Um, stand back there and make throws, but also get out of the pocket and, and look like, man, you shouldn't do this. And then he completes a ball down the field. So um, we've talked about this. Last year, it seemed like it was every week we were going against a guy like this. Um, this will probably be the, the first test this year of trying to contain a guy, keep him in the pocket, and not allow him to make plays all over the field. Um, but it's, it's hard on the defense, you know, especially because he's such a good athlete that you see guys come free and he's able to get out of the pocket, make them miss, and now the whole field opens up to him. Devin, as far as your defense, how do you continue to play with the confidence and play as well as you guys have been playing and not read your press clippings? Practice. It, it all comes down to what we do in practice each week of preparing and getting ready to go. Um, and, you know, with all due respect, I mean, we don't care what anybody writes or says about us because – we know as good as it can be the next week. You know, we, I bet if we pull up some clippings from last year, you guys are probably saying some of the worst things about our defense. So um, it all comes and goes. And I think the biggest thing is trying to plan for each other um, and then preparing each week, you know, from Wednesday throughout um, and really starting Tuesday watching the film on our own. But coming in here on the practice field Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, and then tying everything together Saturday, uh, I think is what's given us confidence the first three weeks. So you have practice, you had Julian Edelman out there today, I mean, on a week that he was questionable or whatever after what happened Sunday. Julian's is crazy, though. He's one of the toughest guys I've ever played with. So um, you never count him out. You know, I mean, he was saying that Sunday. So uh, he, he was saying, you know, he, he's going to get as good as he can and do whatever he has to do. Um, so I'm not surprised by anything he does. He's, since I've gotten here in 2010, He's always been a tough guy. Even years he's been on IR, and and you knew he wasn't coming back. If you ever seen him in the locker room or working out, you would swear he was coming back for the playoffs or something. So, always been a tough guy. Have you guys, have you guys discussed the fact that you haven't given up the touchdowns in defense since the AFC Championship game, and has it maybe become a point of pride for the defense as a whole? No, um, no. Honestly, no one has talked about that, and you know. Um, I think for us, it's just going over all the situations. You know, we haven't got a, a ton of red area, you know, work in the game, you know, against Pittsburgh. We uh, They got down there, but I think that's something that we've continued to work on because 
we know games are kind of decided by that. So um, you talk about giving up touchdowns and, and turning seven-point plays or just three-point plays is playing well in the red air, especially on third down in the red air. So that's something that we continue to focus on and, and make sure each week, you know, we know what teams want to do and, and how they want to play against us in that area. Devin, speaking of Julian, Cole Beasley as a Cowboy was often compared to an Edelman-like receiver. What's his value to the Bills in a young quarterback like Allen? And does your experience competing every day against Julian in practice help in terms of defending a guy like that? Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a tough receiver. You know, I think he's able to do a lot of things on the field. You know, I think similar to Jules, I think guys always want to label him as just like a slot guy that only can play in the slot. Um, but, you know, Cole Beasley, he's out there. He's playing the Z. He's playing the X and, and two receiver sets. Um, and he, he kind of plays all over their offense. So you can tell he's a smart guy that can do a lot of things. So I'm sure Josh Allen has a lot of trust between him and Brown. Um, out there, obviously two new two new receivers this year, but it at least seems like they've gained a lot of trust um, in the different things they want to do offensively. And then, you know, from practice against Dable, we know like some of the tough things that he can draw up and have. So uh, we know it'll be tough from a scheme standpoint, and then going against some of the newer guys out there. Allen's year of experience. Do you see Brian expanding his playbook and doing things, uh, you know, offensively being a little more creative this year and doing more? Offensively. Yeah, you definitely can see that through the first three games, just uh, their ability to attack, you know, kind of each one of those defenses, you know, a little differently each week and uh, kind of having that, you know, kind of match up offense where they know what they want to do and how they want to attack a defense. But that could change depending on what you do defensively. Um, you can definitely see that when you watch the film. So um, this will be another game early in the season. There's some core things they're probably going to do, but there's going to be some things that we have to adjust to in the game that we really haven't seen on tape that they probably drew up, you know, special for how we play and what we do defensively. So um, it's something that we're going to have to be prepared for, getting on the sideline, talking in between plays, being able to communicate on uh, successful plays that they have and just being ready to stop that, you know, obviously series of series, but also within a drive. When you guys, when Jimmy caused that like over earlier in like 2016, you had said that he was like the best athlete on the floor at the time. Not anymore. He's a little older. How great, how good has he been since he's come back? And did you realize, okay, he's going to be this good again? Yeah, I mean, he's been awesome. I think uh, he came in here in the spring. Um, and I think for him, from a mentality standpoint, he didn't really come back as, you know, Jamie Collins, the guy that was here. He came back, you know, almost as a new guy. Like, let me prove to these guys that um, I can, for one, play in this defense. I can do what the team asked me to do. And, I mean, since he's come back, he's been awesome. You know, always he's always had versatility to be at the end of the line of scrimmage, be, you know, inside, standing up at linebacker. Um, and if you ask him, he can go back and play safety too. So um, it's great just having him out there. He's a, he's He has special athletic ability. Um, you see it every day on the practice field. You see it on the games on Sunday. So uh, he's one of those guys you're happy he's on your team because he, he makes everybody else better uh, with just some of the things he can do out there on the field. Play without some key guys on defense, like uh, Kyle in Week One, for instance. What does that say about the depth and versatility of the defense that you've been able to stay consistent despite those uh, moving parts? Yeah, J, J Max got on those guys about being selfish, having babies during the season. So, um, but I, I think the depth on defense shows, and it showed not only with KV being out, but in some of these games, you know, you go down to Miami, it's like 100 degrees out there, and then Sunday was hot, another hot one of being able to guys just staying fresh, saying, hey, you got me on this series, you go this time. Um, I think we all as players and then the coaches have a tremendous amount of trust in each guy uh, that sits in those defensive meetings that if you need to go in and your number's called, um, that we can, for one, run all the same defense we've been running. We don't have to adjust anything. And I think the best thing about our, our depth is the versatility. We have guys that can play in so many different positions, whether that's a linebacker type role and a secondary on the line, um, you know, within a game and within practice, we have guys kind of playing all over to the point that we got to sometimes remind each other, like, hey, you're here this time, I'm here, um, just to make sure we get our communication and stuff. And it, it, it's tough, though, but um, I think that's some of the hard work we've been putting in that we got to continue to do if we want to do those things well. Anybody else pregnant?